The internet, that's what I'm jealous of. My generation invented the internet. None of us know how to use it. Every kid you meet, hand them any device within moments, they're masters of it. They have instant access to all the information on the planet. When I was a kid, if I got assigned a report in school, I had to pick a topic that started with the letters A through H. Because those are the encyclopedias we got before my parents stopped paying for them. I tried to do a report on Constantinople. It said, see Istanbul. I'm like, we don't have I. This is due tomorrow. I got to pick a different city. Did a report on Abu Dhabi. First city I found. I recently had to change my email password, so now I have to change my cat's name. That's an awkward conversation to have with a pet. Mittens, come here, this is important. Your name's not Mittens anymore, daddy got hacked. Your new name is Boots. Boots underscore 1357. The other day, a teenager handed me his phone and asked me to help him take a selfie. I think if I'm holding the phone and you're in the picture, it's not a selfie. He said, well then, help me take a somebody else -y. He didn't know the word picture. I think we're taking too many pictures. I think it needs to stop. It's not the kids either. It's the old people taking too many. You know why I think us old people take too many pictures? We can't believe they're free now. We used to have to buy film. We were paying by the picture. We had to decide whether or not what we were looking at was worth it. And back then, we didn't even know if it was a good picture for like two weeks. <laughs> should we take another picture? I don't know if we're cute right now. I don't think we should. <laughs> we only have six of these left. <laughs> two weeks later, you get an envelope filled with glossies. Half of them were garbage. Remember how hard it was to restage a photo two weeks later? <laughs> well, kids, put your Christmas PJs back on. Mom's eyes are closed in this one. <laughs> good thing the tree's still up. We didn't take selfies. Cut half your face out of that, that cost you a quarter. We didn't risk it. I still don't take a selfie. Closest thing I take to a selfie is a close-up of that bump on my back to get a better look at it. Anyone else playing pimple or mole? I'll tell you what, back when we were paying by the picture, nobody at the photo mat ever built a picture of a cheeseburger and french fries. I don't care how beautiful your food picture comes out. You're gonna frame it, put it on the wall? That's my wedding day. That's my nephew's christening. That right there? That's a lunch I had about eight years ago. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. That ended up being a pimple. I'm jealous of the useless technology kids have now. I can't believe their video games. So cool. Even the simple ones are cool. Guitar Hero? What a great idea for a game. I grew up playing a game called Burger Time, another game called Paper Boy. <laughs> Low paying jobs, that was my video game. <laughs> These kids get to be rock stars. I was reading about it, there's a new version of Guitar Hero, plugs into a real guitar, teaches kids how to play guitar for real. That's great, but everybody can't grow up and be a musician. We need games that teach other skills. Copy Machine Hero, when's that game coming out? <laughs> Level three, Paper Jam, deal with it. Level five, change the toner, figure it out. I made it to collate. <laughs> Office people know, collate and staple. That is a big boss on Copy Machine Hero. I'm jealous of the books the kids have now. I've been reading all the books written for young people. I read The Hunger Games, The Twilight Series. My seven favorite are the Harry Potter. Read the Harry Potter books, especially if you're old. It's printed in a larger font. Written at a seventh grade level, you feel like you're kicking butt. <laughs> I read a hundred pages one day, I only had to look up four words. <laughs> when I was young, they wanted me to read the Lord of the Rings books. I barely made it past the map in the front of the book. 
Harry Potter knocked out all seven of them. I was embarrassed to be caught reading a kid's book, though, so I wore my invisibility cloak. <laughs> if you're not laughing, you're a muggle. <laughs> Harry Potter's an orphan. Harry Potter doesn't have any living parents. You know who else is an orphan? I looked it up on the internet. Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. What are we saying to our kids? If I didn't have these parents, I could fly. <laughs> I think that's the wrong message. <laughs> We're sending wrong messages all the time. I just did some shows in a little historic town called Springfield, Illinois. There's an Abraham Lincoln Museum there. I thought, that's cool. I want to learn more about Lincoln. You know what I learned? Lincoln walked 10 miles each way to school, never missed a day. And to celebrate his life, we give our kids the day off. <laughs> I think President's Day should be the day all the kids walk to school. <laughs>